How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to be pairing my wife's Apple Watch with her new phone. It's paired with her old phone. We don't have access to her old phone anymore so we're in quite a conundrum. If you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up. If you're nice subscribe. Subscribe so you don't miss another video and let's get into the tutorial. So if we go onto our new phone where she's signed into her iCloud you go to your find my whatever device. We click on her Apple Watch, play a sound and Apple Watch is connected to Wi-Fi and it ends up playing the sound and being activated by that. However, when we go to the Apple Watch screen, it's not on there. There's no this watch. So we're going to have to get into the watch, which luckily we do remember the passcode. And then once you're in the watch, hit the crown, go to settings, scroll to general, go all the way down, hit reset. We're gonna hit erase all content and settings, type in the password. And unfortunately, it is going to erase all of the data that was on the watch and on the old phone, unless you have a backup on it. And we'll see if we had a backup on it when we set it back up. This process is probably the easiest way to do it. You are going to need your iCloud password. You are going to need your Apple Watch and your new phone, but the process isn't too horrible as you're going to see. Okay, you can see Apple Watch is resetting. Okay, so it reset. It's asking to pair. So we're in the Apple Watch app. We're going to hit start pairing, continue setup, and we're going to hold it over, get that swirling mist going and because it's been so long between when she was using her apple watch last and now we're gonna have to update it so we're gonna hit update now and it's now activating the watch on the phone it just started updating the watch so we're gonna let this update run it's updating to watch os 6.3 and then we will come back this might take a while a few minutes later. So that took about 10 or so minutes. It downloaded. Now I have to install, put in my password, agree to their terms of services. It says verifying. And now it says that it's installing to the watch. You do want to make sure your watch is on a charger at this point, and it won't install it unless there's at least 50% charge while it's on the charger. We're going to let this run, and then I'll come back. And of course, it goes to this pairing failed prompt. We're going to hit start over. It's going to unpair and then we're going to repair. I think it's because we're updating the watch. You may or may not have to do this. Unpairing takes a while, so we'll come back. So here we go, pairing second time. So we got that screen. We should be able to get that. There it is. Swirly ball. And yes, it's asking for another update. That first update was for Apple Watch 6.3, and now this one's for Apple Watch 9.3. We're gonna hit download and install, type in your password, accept the terms and conditions. And this one's gonna take a while because it said 2.2 gigabytes. So we're gonna turn off the camera and I'll see you guys in a bit. Two hours later. It was very close to two hours to download all of that 2.2 gigabytes. Now it's asking me to install. So we're gonna hit install. Type in password. There we go. I really hope that you didn't wait a long time between getting a new phone and then setting up your watch. This is going to install. It might take a while and then we'll be back. Now it's asking me to pair my watch yet again for the third time. Hopefully you don't have to do this because yours doesn't have to update twice and then pair for the third time. So we're gonna hit start pairing. Set up for myself, hold your watch up to the camera, get the swirling ball. Your Apple watch is paired. We're going to restore from backup instead of setting up as a new Apple Watch. So maybe we'll have some of our old data that was backed up. If you don't have that as an option, you'll just set yours up as a new Apple Watch. Click and hit continue. Connecting to your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. Go through terms and condition, hit agree. Signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. Now it's making me create a long passcode. There's no way around it. It says it has to be at least six digits. Then you can pick your text size and hit continue. Okay, okay. Get notifications about your health, sound level, emergency SOS, all of these things. Cellular setup, we're gonna do not now, but it's kind of frozen. So we're just gonna let this go and see what happens. I can't go back, I can't go not now, I can't go set up cellular. I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit and see what happens. Froze for a little bit, but now it came up to app list view or grid i like the grid continue and now it's syncing so i guess it's doing something with the phone with that old data 
we're gonna let this go around and then we'll come back all right last but not least it looks like we are activated and back to normal now if i go to her apple watch app all watches her watch is now there instead of not having any watches so it did indeed work it is reset it is now synced with the phone the whole process did take me over two and a half hours though so do be aware of that if you have to update your phone or if you have to update your watch a lot like i did but that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up if you have any questions start in the comment section if you haven't already subscribed to the channel subscribe so you don't miss another video and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye Hello, <laughs>